But Quebec, on the other side, is also doing itself damage. I don't know how many of you are aware of two things, the latest. I'm told that Quebec has passed or is on the way to pass legislation to make flu vaccine compulsory. Well, if somebody came to me, I will demand that nobody's going to give me a vaccine unless they give me guarantee that no harm will occur to me, my family, my community, and my compatriots. Because they are doing it under international lie that there's going to be a pandemic. There's no proof. There hasn't been a pandemic like that, ever. And these flu viruses have existed for millions of years. And they've been mating and mutating for all those millions of years. Nothing has happened. Nothing is going to happen. So, no what? So the second thing that Quebec, I know, passed the legislation in the wake of the avian flu, the bird flu, that Quebecers cannot grow, raise chickens in free range. This is unconstitutional. This is contrary to law of God. You cannot legislate just because you're going around telling lies that there's going to be bird flu. For God's sake, those birds have existed for 65 million years. By now, all the birds should be dead. So get up and fight. I would recommend I would recommend that you all take a copy, at least one of these books, home, share it with your friends and your families, but more so, as you leave, either today or later, my publisher, Claude Charbonneau, is here. We feel that a copy of this book should be sent to every single member of parliament and member of Quebec Assembly as a salvo, as a warning that read it. I know they won't read it but they will surely get it read by their advisors to get a briefing. And we continue with these meetings across the province, across the country, because you are the best province. If Quebec moves, Canada moves. Stop arguing over language sovereignty. You already have that. You already are recognized by Parliament of Canada now uh, as a nation. It's your right to declare sovereignty on food safety.
Thank you. This is a thank you. I think I know it's hard to get to stop people at this point. Uh, but he might come back. He might be back again because they accepted, as I mentioned, to act as the honorary president of our foundation. And let me tell him if he's understanding. Listen to my. You can listen to the. <laughs> listen to my translation, and uh, you will understand at the very beginning of the publication of his book in French. I've read tw I, I bought twelve co copies. And uh, I bought 12 copies, and other people bought other copies. I'd like him to know that our movement has begun, and we want everybody to have a copy in the next month of Quebec, because more important personnel of the Canada's produce for the health of Quebec and the health of Canada.